Hi there guys, Kawa here. Uh, we're running a little bit behind schedule, but uh, we're going for a uh, round two of, um, as you can see, a Gain Sky Beatdown. I forgot that I could do a team like this, uh, where we can use Madara for his boss, and we get good old uh, Tsunami here to help us uh, bridge the chase. You can also do this team as Earth Me. That was what I originally was going to do, but uh, I kind of signed on really late and I couldn't plan out things properly. So if you were to do this as Earth Me, you would do this with um, the double attack. But for now, um, in this setup, I have the ability to do all my mysteries and also have Chakra uh, from Tsunade. Uh, from Tsunade and Madara, so I can feel the slug. I actually slightly messed that one up. I think my chase is wrong. I think I'm supposed to have the dissection bleed. Okay. Should be good. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So yeah, last time I messed up and I completely forgot to uh, equip my guy suit. This time, we have our guy suit on. <laughs> Gotta pay homage to guy sensei here. Oh god. I, I actually really hate that dodge ability that Mangetsu gives them, but uh, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, wait, I just realized I'm using the wrong standard attack too. I'm sorry guys, I was in a bit of a rush. <laughs> So, all my stuff is uh, clearly not correct. Uh, that's not good. He has a mirror. Oh, no, no, okay. So, my original setup was correct. This is, uh, it was supposed to be the high combo chase. Because if I don't use the high combo chase, I can't um, achieve that extra 10 chakra on round one so that um, we can summon the slug. So yeah, there was a reason why I was doing it that way. Um, I just completely apparently forgot about that. It happens to the best of us. Ow. That's the one thing I feared the most. But we'll be fine. Um, Next round, we'll have everything set up again, and we'll be fine. We'll just hear a door down, and we'll be good. But honestly, a different topic. Uh, I was thinking about it, and then I realized that... Uh, that nobody... Well, not nobody, but not a lot of people has brought up the idea of using Hokage Hiruzen against uh, Six Path Naruto. You know, a lot of people, you know, get on my nerves and don't be quiet about how uh, OP he is, but I am 99.9% .9 sure a relatively, you know, as long as the power gap is not huge, uh, you would be able to one-shot him with the Reaper Death Seal, even at a uh, position two. Uh, position two, a uh, hero. Obviously, because you know everyone's always saying, "Oh, you know my unit keeps dying," and you know I have no back row. So, if you, if your hero and dies at you know the position two, all he has to do is just get up and uh, do the Reaper Death Seal onto uh, Naruto, and it's sh I'm ninety nine point nine percent confident. It will one-shot him. Just really confident. And also, if, you know, uh, you have to get, to, obviously you have to get to that point in the fight where, you know, that one-shot actually matters, because you have to kill his back row. But, uh, Hiruzen also gives you a resistance buff, which helps a lot. And, 
his damage is not too shabby. Like his uh, mud dragons, it's okay. But you know, nothing to be like super amazed about. Like, I feel like that is wrong that I'm not critting. But at the same time, I don't think there's anything wrong with my gear. Yeah, he's just. I'm just unlucky, I guess. I'm just not critting. Oh, what did I just attack? Oh, uh, Shadow walked right into me. Oh. I, I was trying to click someone else and he walked right into my click. Oh well. Oh. If we want any chance of winning, it's gonna. It's, this is definitely a hard fight, um, but maybe we can get there with poison. Okay, that didn't hurt too much. That on the other hand hurt. Yet again, get no crit, but it didn't matter. He was on dying. Yes. This awesome is in chaos. Not complaining. Uh, my water main is gonna die next round. I don't know if Guy can get us there by himself. Assuming he doesn't die right now. Nah, he's dead. He's dead. The, the Heroes and Stick is gonna kill him. <laughs> My pack row just melted. Uh, yeah, this is why uh, I prefer to bring resistance buff people in the back row, but it's also, you know, my back row is really weak, uh, none of them are mood, or nobody on this team except my main is completely mooted, and, uh, they're just, like, subpar stats to also, like, subpar in the sense that, you know, their gear is actually not that great. Also, it's really unlucky, I couldn't get any crits off, but I ate <laughs> a good amount of crits. But, um, yeah, returning to the topic at hand before I accidentally clicked on Shadow over there, uh, nobody really brings up the fact that you can use, you know, Hokage Hiruzen to counteract the Naruto. The Reaper Death Seal is undodgeable, and it, it does really high damage, so there should be no reason that it doesn't uh, one-shot Naruto. Can't heal through it, because you're dead. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, we're just gonna fire this. Here, Adora. Oh, did I just walk Madara into that one? I think I did. Oh, no! So, but also, just like I, I, I just thought of that idea before, but I'm also thinking back on it now. It's like, I don't think a lot of people actually have Okage Hiruzen. See, he hasn't really, you know, shown that often. 
outside of you know the people who probably got it for free out of the uh, lucky board or one of the red packs. But yeah, for those who do have him, um, and if you feel like you're struggling against that Naruto, you can just use Hokage Hiruzi. That resistant buff that he gives you guys are very good, as you know Naruto's uh, standard is just pure, uh, pure ninjutsu, so that resistance matters. Okay, this time I remember he has a mirror, so I can't randomly attack him. Oh, I also wanted to—I uh, was going to comment on this team, and it just like completely slipped my mind. Um, so th this team here—it's a bunch of people who have high CDs, and its only chance to continue its battle is that win me. If that win me gets stopped, the team does nothing. So uh, people need to kind of consider that before you know. Chucking three really high C teams together. Yeah, I'm not critical. How did I get CC? I forgot. Uh, <laughs> Naruto didn't die. Oh, we didn't hit Shisui? Uh, oh well, we'll just standard him to death. I really need to count how many hits the standard is. Because in the description, it says... Uh, quintuplet? Quintuple? So it's like five? But it's definitely more than five. <laughs> just want to say that. So, we ran into our arch, well, not our arch nemesis, but kind of our arch nemesis, an opposing Padara. Good old Kai Sensei cannot do damage to him. So, uh, we might be in a little bit of trouble, but I, I think we're fine. Let's take this Naruto out of the picture. Oh, we failed to 
taking him out of the picture. Yeah, just not pretty for some reason. Alright, let me just get some moderate damage in here. Yes. Well, lucky me. Oh! I did not realize the Lotus was a Tai Nin skill. Oh, well, I guess we have more than one source of damage on him. Yay, the slug! Alright, just him left. I feel like it's 10 hits. I really feel like his standard is like 10 hits, or at least 8. And if it's really 8, then I'm doing quite a lot on my standard attacks. Uh, who is this? Come back here. You have 7 wins, but you somehow avoided me. Oh well. Uh, I'm gonna click some red names. And then, you know, the obvious other counter to that 6 path number to Minato. I think I said that enough times that people know about it. But, uh, the Hiruzen thing is something I recently just realized. Because, um, of the current strong approach, you know, the one with, uh, the Hokages. And I, I saw, uh, what's his name? Hiruzen. Uh, read through Death Seal, you know, one-shot us, and I was just like, wait a minute, why doesn't, you know, people use uh, the Reaper Death Seal to one-shot opposing six-path Naruto's? It's really not that hard, because, you know, if people like to complain about the fact that the fight goes to ten rounds, or, oh, my back row dies, then Hiruzen is the best way to clear the, the issue. Seeing once Hiruzen dies, he gets back up, and he's just going to uh, Reaper Death Seal. I think he actually do it even at uh, position three. Uh, I never personally tested that on three, but I definitely know on two you can kill a position one. <laughs> So, this team is kind of outdated these days. Uh, I, I understand people. some people run it because they don't have better units to pick between, but I don't know, I just feel like it's a really outdated team. Like, it's like outside of spending your coupons on power, you know, should at least pick up some units, but you know, at 150k, you can't be spending all your coupons on power, clearly. So maybe pick up some better units. This team is really outdated. I guess it's good in Sage World when you're in need of picking on, um, uh, on, I guess, weaker people and you trying to kill like super fast. I guess it helps. Wow, I couldn't even break his armor. I'm really not critting today, I don't know what's wrong. That was clearly a crit. What the hell? Yeah. Oh, I am quite um, interested in. Are they going to make uh, this guy with his five star? Does he become night guy? <laughs> and what is night guy going to do? Uh, I think one shot all of them, so I'm just gonna hit Madara so I can take his super armor away. So yeah, that was um, a misunderstanding of mine from the last video. Um, you know, translations were bad. So, I didn't, um, I didn't know that, uh, Hiridora actually moves super armor. Which is something that I brought up saying that, you know, I, I don't understand why he doesn't do it. 
but yeah, so apparently it does. It does remove super armor, as you clearly can see. Yes. So, that was a mistake on my side. I did not realize that. And then also for the, uh, whoa, also for the Tsunade, um, it was also a, a bit of mistranslation and a bit of, you know, me reading bad. So, um, the percentage that you gain on the uh, crit passive, it's uh, a set number. You gain the 100% injury and the crit percent. It doesn't scale. That was just a, a misread and a slight mistranslation on their side because uh, the way they, they, they say it, it sounds like, you know, you do chaos and every time you uh, crit, you gain more. But that's not what it does. So, a bit of, you know, on both parties' fault. But, I'm um, still a very powerful uh, passive. Seeing double of your injury for no reason is uh, no joke. Uh, I think I need the Shishui dodge. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, and I think I just one-shot at him. Interesting. Yet again! Didn't you crit? And again! This is starting to bother me. Okay, this is really starting to bother me, so I'm just gonna. No, 24 it's yeah, that's correct. I'm just not critting for some reason. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my gear. Um So this is also a prime example of a well, I was gonna say as a prime example of a, a Naruto setup that you shouldn't have, because that setup makes it so that if you run into another Naruto, it becomes a ten round fight and whoever has the most life wins. Um, because you're running like triple support with no other damage. For those people who do have Naruto and you don't want to go into that battle of you know 10 rounds, you have to have a secondary DPS. Not even kidding. The same way you beat him is the same way you beat other Naruto's. You need that secondary DPS. Without it, and when you face him off against another one, you're just gonna look at each other into 10 rounds. And I'm pretty sure nobody likes doing that. So, yeah, guys, um. Nothing super impressive this time. I just wanted to play around with the uh, Gate of Shock guy again. And uh, I wanted to test out, you know, without Darui, you know, using Madara, and then, you know, switch up to Tsunade. Um, the Tsunade wasn't that important. It was really just to bridge the gap for um, Guy's chase. And I thought I was going to be able to summon the Slug more often, but I guess not. Uh, there was like, I guess some miscalculations on my behalf on that one. This team would probably work way better with a Earth main because you'll be able to uh, do the double attack if Guy starts to chase because, you know, you just need two chases to happen. Um, and then you get the 40 chakra. Then you do the double attack and then, you know, just wail on them some more. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, I just completely didn't have time. Uh, I was running late and I wasn't able to do too much work, but yeah, if you were to do it the other way, you probably put Madara up here and Earth Maiden in the back, or you might just line them up in the back and then just leave a uh, guy here like this. You'd be doing a lot more damage also because you'd be taking the shield buff and then the uh, starting shield and then you, know, you take the double attack and then you just wail on them. But for those who are still around, um, consider Hiruzen. This one, he's not bad. He really isn't. Uh, I know he doesn't show up too often anymore, but for those who have him, that Reaper Death Seal makes a big difference. And then, well, the 40% for 5 rounds should cover a lot of ground for you. The only thing I don't like about him is that he doesn't have a chase, and Enma is really weak. Uh, that gets fixed later on with his uh, experiments. Uh, breakthroughs, uh, because then he'll be able to constantly resummon Emma, and then, I, and then, you know, his, uh, buff is 
uh, forever, it can't be removed. The Earth Dragon does slow, I know that. And Reaper Death Seal, I know it does Yin Tai damage afterwards. That's not that important, but it's a thing. I, I think it does something else too, I don't remember exactly, but uh, I know that it definitely turns into Yin Tai. So, yet again, uh, this is also an answer for those people who are watching. Uh, you either you, you have to burst him, so you can do it either do like you know the way I'm doing it with Guy, you just burst him straight up, or you hit him with something like Hiruzen. They'll never see it coming. Or the or the alternative is you fight them in a uh, battle of attrition where you just outpace them. You just have to outpace his heal. Uh, it's really not that hard. You just need the proper tools. All right, guys. Um, that's it for today. Um, not much, really. Uh, but uh, oh, before I forget, uh, a quick shout out to uh, people on Discord. Uh, who was it? Again? Uh, it was for uh, Itachi on the Naruto Discord channel and uh, Skyfall and Bullray. Uh, Skyfall and Bullray both have channels, I believe, uh, and uh, I. 99% sure I subscribe to them, so go check them out. Um, you can find them on, um, you know, the little bar to see my subscriptions. So yeah, go check them out. All right, guys. Uh, till next time, which is probably tomorrow. Uh, have fun.